make it really easy to tie a bucktail. Nice lovely little bait fish. Or catch fish wherever you go. Salt water, fresh water. This is um I don't see a rainbow trout pattern as such, but it's kinda of got those colours. But it's a nice uh, it's a nice little colour. Okay, so some UV UV crystal flash. Just gonna tease it out a little bit. And then hold it, slide it down, a couple of turns on. So and I usually to do a wee twist. It keeps it all together. Okay. A little bit of varnish on to um Turn this phone off here, it's distracting. Okay, so we're just going to bring that right up to, I don't know what's that, maybe half an inch or so, quarter of an inch behind the, the hook eye. And then I'm going to add a little varnish. The reason I do this, it binds together the um, bucktail you're about to put on and it also stops it moving. You can do it with super glue if that's your thing. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't know why this bit here, it keeps coming loose on this outlet space. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, okay. So I'm going with a kind of a lovely purpley, purpley bucktail. Again, I've, I blogged the other day um, about qualities of bucktail in this country. Um, my brother Ken Capsi, Pike Picker over on Instagram, um, he has some amazing amazing bucktails uh, the quality is superb we seem to be limited over here um, to like pretty I'd say not, not the greatest bucktail um, the stuff that Ken uses is pretty much prime northern bucktail he he goes out and hunts it he's got friends over there in VT who who hunt and give him the <laughs> the bucktails which is pretty cool he dyes it all himself Usually when I go over and fish weekend, I, I usually try and kind of snaffle a few off him because it's really good. The only the only bucktail that's come close, you know, in this country is actually the, the Orvis um, Prime Northern Bucktail, uh, which is really, really good. Um, it's a really nice long fibre, um, quite straight, uh, but it's expensive. Come on, guys. Um, lower your prices, sell more, you know. But I, I do really struggle in this country to get, you know, good good bucktail. Um, I mean, a lot of this stuff that I've had is um, has come off the internet. Um, you know, just, it's just really chuck and chance it. You know, um, I put in searches for Prime Northern Bucktail. Um, a load of stuff comes up, you know, just have to take the chance to, to when it arrives. But I know when I go to America, you know, obviously the bucktail over there is far superior to here. So anyway that's my rant about bucktail um, we just don't have the, the same quality of stuff as the americans okay so i've just put a a little bit of purple pink fuchsia rose whatever color you want to call it um, just under there um, creates a bit of the body shape so again what i do is i take my varnish on there again when that hardens that kind of solidifies everything together and it also makes it a bit tooth proof you know okay so i'm just going to straighten those edges and then we go turn that down did i mention by the way it's christmas day today and i'm sitting in my cave making videos can't be doing my christmas now it's uh it's just retail shops trying to make as much money out of people as possible. Um, yeah, it's okay if you're a kid, I suppose. But, you know, hey-ho, there you go. So, there's your second bit. And that's kind of a nice purple colour. You're getting the idea where I said rainbow trout now. 
Okay, so now um, we're going to get a couple of saddle cape feathers. Um, again, expensive, but you know, you get quite a lot of flies out of these. Um, and obviously you're not using a whole heap of them in these flies. Um, musky flies, pike flies, you'll probably use a few more. So we're going to take like that. You can see the, uh, the fluffy bit at the end there. I'm just going to cut that off. And then I'll show you this on the other side. So this feather, so place it along the side and then a couple of turns and that should be it in the right place. Yep, I've done that pretty much blind so that was quite a good shot. As you can see it's flaring up a bit but don't worry about that. The um, bucktail when you tie it is going to come up like that especially with you know the smaller flies like this. Uh, what you you know once you actually fish with them and they get wet they actually form a nice shape uh, this all clamps down with the water and you get a beautiful little um, bait fish pattern so it doesn't actually splay up um, it does actually come down to a nice pattern like that okay so next I'm gonna go upside down a couple of loose ones here okay a little bit of varnish on there Bind everything together and take some more long straight ones. Okay. Then I'm just going to bring my thread forward And we'll just have a look if that's got a natural curve in it as you can see very slightly that way so i'm going to put that because that's the belly and each side of the hook tease it round hold it in position and just tie into where your last whipping has finished just there and then i'm going to repeat that on the other side again i'm looking for some nice long straight fibers which is why the prime northern bucktail is great for that because you have really long fibers okay and I'm just gonna twist that with my hand my finger sorry so. I'll show you a trick actually what you can do you can put some uh, flash in here as well at this point let's put some gold flash in so there's a few strands of, uh... okay, a few gold strands of flash broom. And I want this to come out just off the back. So that will do nicely. Then you can tie your flash in there, like so. And then grab that, bring it forward push down with your thumb and it will spread a little way around the hook and just bind it on simple as that and then trim your ends Okay, so to finish off, um, we're just going to have a, a nice little bit of peacock curl. Again, you'll see all the lighter colours, the, the fixed stems at the bottom. What I tend to do is pull them all together and I'll just cut those off. Interesting thing, in between your, your thumb and your forefinger is just go like that and you'll get a little bit of a curve on it. Let me just push that down. And 
better. Right. right, so grab it all like that and then you can twizzle it around on your finger. And you can see you're getting that lovely bait fish pattern. So normally I use a, a five minute, um, sorry, a 30 minute epoxy. Um, if I'm doing stuff like tying a load at a time, maybe five or six flies, um, I'll use a, a five minute epoxy um, just for speed. So I'm going to stick a couple eyes on just now. So just bear with me while I mix this up. Quick mix. Okay. Here's an interesting thing with the epoxy. Um, what I tend to do, get some on your on your bodkin, and what I'll do is actually push it right through. So what you're actually doing here, you're getting a really solid base when it all dries. And you're actually putting in some weight behind the eye. And this is actually really good for the movement of the fly. If you strip and pause these, these um, the epoxy will actually go from side to side. Um, very much like a traditional kind of jerk bait. They're quite cool. Okay, so just push that through. I always am very particular when I'm doing this. I like it to look good. And obviously you want a firm base for the eyes and you don't want the eyes coming off. It's never good. Again, always make up too much epoxy. So, what I tend to do is always uh, finish the nose off, and I'll put a wee bit of epoxy on there. Just makes it bomb-proof, you know. Um, predator's teeth and stuff, but that's pretty much bomb-proof now. Okay, so we're just gonna add. A little more epoxy on the top there. That's where your eye is going to sit. And again, every time you do this, when it hardens, you are actually adding weight to it, which obviously helps in the in the swim action of it. Okay. Quite a large eye, um, nice target area. Put a little behind the head there. Again, if I'm tying a lot of these, um, you know, more than five, then I'll tend to use a, a 30 minute Z epoxy. Anything under that, I'll just go with a five minute. Pretty good. Okay. I'll just keep pushing the eyes in.
Okay, so there you have a lovely little big fish pattern in rainbow trout colours. And there you go, Christmas in the cave. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.